Welcome back to Cooking with Canines at Old Tavern Farm. So we got the rain that we needed here on the farm, lots of it, and which is a great thing. Um, we make our own hay for our horses, so we need water for the hay fields, and it's been a real blessing. So that aside, the gardens are cranking as usual, and I have been weeding and pruning and tying up and chasing off renegade wildlife for days. So now it's turned off hot and humid as it sometimes does in the summer after we get a rain. Um, so I thought I would have a YouTube marathon of my favorite YouTube channels, make some popcorn and just stay in the air conditioning for a little while. So I wanted to share with you my stovetop popcorn. Um, it's super easy. I don't always have microwave popcorn because I'm not sure what's in it and smells good, but hmm, what's in there? Do your own research as always. Um, but you want to take um, a stove top pot like this, a sauce pot. This I think is a two quart pot. Um, get your oven up nice and high. And mine is on high and I've just preheated it a little bit with the lid on. So I'm going to remove the lid and I have um, a third of a cup of olive oil. I use olive oil because as you know, I don't like those shelf stable liquid oils that you make in a factory. Um, light olive oil is good for this too. So I'm gonna pour it right in there. And as always, I have my equipment and stock waiting for me, not the reverse. So this guy's already hot. Then I'm gonna take a third of a cup of nice yellow uh, popcorn kernels. And I get these at my local co-op. Um, and I'll show you the bag here in just a second, but I'm gonna pour that right in there. And you can hear it's already sizzling because I have low technology here. I'm going to show you. It's already sizzling. It smells good. Okay. Then I'm going to put the lid back on. I'm going to make sure it's it. And I'm going to go grab my bowl because as usual, I like to forget at least one thing. Hang on. So I do like to use the ugliest bowl that I own for popcorn because who's going to see it, right? Um, bowl. And I'm just going to let that hang out for a few minutes and it will tell you when it starts to pop, it'll tell you that it is popping because you'll be able to hear it. But I wanted to show you, um, I do buy my popcorn at my local co-op and this is almost a three pound bag and I think it cost me $1.54. It's 55 cents a pound. Um, and I can store these in my root cellar, these bags in my root cellar in a Tupperware container to keep them safe from the mice and other things that like to hang out in the cellar. Although here in the Adirondacks, we're lucky because we don't have many dangerous snakes hanging out in the cellars. And you hear the popcorn, popcorn is popping. So hold on, hold that thought. Once it starts popping, I'm just gonna shake it, shakey, shakey, shakey. I'm gonna have my bowl waiting for me over here on the very cool, don't make tea before you put your plastic bowl on the, not a good idea. Okay, so that's steaming and popcorn. I just wanna shake it, shake it, shake it so that the popcorn that isn't already popped can shift down to the bottom of the pan. Normally I would have my vent fan on, but it's that bowl. And you can hear, I'm just gonna stop talking for two seconds. Here she comes. <laughs> She's right there eating popcorn. She likes popcorn. I'm gonna turn off my heat. You can hear that it's continuing to pop. Okay, that's about it. So I'm gonna take the lid off. Oh, you get another one? Okay. All right, and then I'm gonna take my salt. Salt. Now I use kosher salt and I'm just going to sprinkle oh probably probably about a teaspoon and a half I mean I'm not super into measurements but and then I'm just going to shakey 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 
Some people will put um, melted butter on it. My husband loves melted butter on his. Um, but my daughter likes to put um, the powdered, uh, like the powdered Parmesan cheese that comes in a can. You can shake it up. And it kind of tastes like white cheddar popcorn, you know, that we can buy in a bag, that black bag of convenience popcorn, the white cheddar version. Oh, I can eat an entire bag of that. Not a good idea. So I like to make my own. Then I can have a YouTube marathon on these hot days or rainy days or snowy days and have my own healthy popcorn. I think this has like maybe 30 calories a cup or something. Do your own research. Um, and if it's left over, then I can make popcorn balls or like some desserts out of it. It's really good with caramel on it. So anyway, you guys go have your own movie marathon and enjoy the summer weather and have a beautiful 4th of July or whatever holiday we're on currently. I don't even know what day it is. I'm thinking I'm going to go back to work pretty soon though, right? That's great. You guys be healthy, be happy. Thank you for visiting. Virtual hug. Hug, 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 hug,